Hey, welcome guys. This video we be teaching you about eSIM as well as just SIM for SIM card. Now, before we can get into eSIM, you have to go back a little bit and understand the previous technology, which is SIM cards. So SIM cards, a lot of people are familiar with this, so we'll go over it very quickly. SIM stands for Subscriber Identity Module. So the way the SIM card works is like this. I have a cell phone. In this example, it's a smartphone. So I can use Wi-Fi, but that's pretty much it. I can't really do anything else. I can't make phone calls. I can't text, MMS, or use mobile data. I can't do any of that without a SIM card present in this device, and that SIM card has to be activated by the cell phone carrier. So that's where the SIM card comes into play. What that basically is, it looks kind of like a chip nowadays. It's rather small. There are various sizes, and it goes into your cell phone, and what that does is basically receive signal from your cell phone provider, and then inject that signal into your cell phone. So SIM cards used to be pretty large at one point, and they tend to get smaller and smaller, of course, as technology gets better. And some cell phone carriers still actually give you the full SIM card tray with a different adapter settings in case you need to swap to an old phone that uses a larger SIM card. So taking that SIM card and then injecting it into my cell phone allows it to receive signal from my network provider. So in this example, we'll use something like Vodafone just because it's pretty popular. So Vodafone will then have to send signal from their towers and all their uh, high-tech gizmos at the background and send that cell phone signal over to the SIM card. The signal will then be sent over to the SIM card in my cell phone saying that this is my phone number. This is where you're going to send text messages, make phone calls and all that good stuff. Now, just because you have a SIM card doesn't mean you're going to get a cell phone signal. You actually have to have some sort of plan with your cell phone provider and they have to apply that plan to your SIM card. So SIM cards can have any unique identifier. In fact, if you lose your SIM card for whatever reason, you can always switch to another one, but you're going to have to have the help of your mobile carrier to swap over to that new SIM card. So again, SIM cards are basically a middle person on receiving the cell phone signal from the cell phone carrier and injecting it into your cell phone. So this can be pretty convenient. So for example, if you have an unlocked cell phone, you're going from maybe Canada to say England, and you don't want to use your Canadian plan there because it's going to be really expensive for your roaming plan. And let's say you want to use a SIM card from a cell phone carrier from the UK because the plans there are going to be considered local, it's cheaper. Well, you can just buy a SIM card from that carrier in the UK and put it in your cell phone and then it will get your UK cell phone number and UK plan. The Canadian plan will be activated when you put the SIM card back into the phone. There are some other things you can do with it. You can back up contacts onto your SIM card, for example, but, but that doesn't work that well. And a lot of services like Android devices will just sync your contacts with your Gmail account, whereas Apple uses your Apple account instead on an iPhone. So eSIM is actually embedded SIM. It takes the SIM card and literally embeds it in the cell phone. There's no SIM card that you have to keep flopping around or switching around. It, it's all gone. It's integrated into the cell phone itself. So here's the thing. If you're going to switch from one cell phone to another, you're going to have to most likely call your cell phone carrier, get on the phone with them, go through all these annoying options, talk to someone and explain that you have a new cell phone and you want to switch your phone number over to the new cell phone now. So that's a waiting period, whereas you could just swap your SIM card over to the new phone if it fits how it is right now. What I'm hoping from cell phone providers like Vodafone, again, just for example, is that they'll be smart enough to create a self-care portal, log in and quickly punch in the data for your new cell phone so you can port over your phone number to the new cell phone without having to talk to any representative because that would be really annoying and a step backwards in technology. So why are cell phone carriers and some cell phone manufacturers looking at eSIM? I mean, Apple's doing it, Google's doing it, so it's a matter of time before everyone else does. But why do it if it seems like a step backwards? It's embedded in the phone. That means you don't need a slot for a SIM card. That might mean more space for, say, battery. Maybe they can put something else in there. So there's another advantage using that traveling example from earlier. Let's say you're traveling abroad and you want to use a SIM card from that local country you're traveling to. You might lose your original country's SIM card because that thing is tiny. It's like this small. You could lose it in your suitcase and it slips out. You might forget it at your hotel. It could, anything could happen. But with eSIM technology, when you travel to that foreign country, you can just call up the local carrier, inject their phone number into your phone, use it while you're abroad, and then just before you're about to go back home, you call the carrier and be like, hey, I want this phone number, my original one, injected back into my cell phone. Pretty easy, right? For all we know, we might have the ability to have dual cell phone numbers. Maybe you can have two eSIMs in a single cell phone. So I hope you guys found this video useful explaining SIM card technology, which everyone uses but probably doesn't know much about, as well as the future technology, eSIM. 
Be sure to check out my social links in the video description. Subscribe, hit the like button, it does help, and thanks for watching.